Hello everyone. Today, we're going to explore how to move your WPS files from one device to your laptop. It's easier than you might think. Let's dive right in. There are a few simple ways to transfer WPS files. One way is to use a USB drive. First, copy your WPS files onto the USB drive. Then, plug the USB drive into your laptop. Open the USB drive on your laptop and copy the files to your desired location. This method is straightforward and reliable. Another option is to use cloud storage services like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. Upload your WPS files to your chosen cloud storage platform from your original device. Next, on your laptop, log into the same cloud storage account. Then, download the WPS files to your laptop. Cloud storage is convenient because it allows access from anywhere with an internet connection. Email is another basic way to transfer files. Simply attach the WPS files to an email and send it to yourself. Open the email on your laptop and download the attachments. This works well for smaller files. For larger files, a dedicated file transfer service might be better. If you need to transfer a large number of files or files of significant size, Consider using a file transfer service like WeTransfer or Send Anywhere. These services allow you to upload files and generate a download link. Share the link with yourself, open it on your laptop, and download the files. These services often have limitations on file size for free accounts, so keep that in mind. Wi-Fi Direct can also be used if your devices support it. Wi-Fi Direct allows devices to connect directly without a router. Enable Wi-Fi Direct on both your original device and your laptop. Then, initiate the file transfer from your original device. Your laptop will receive the files directly. The steps for enabling Wi-Fi Direct may vary depending on your operating systems. Make sure both devices are close to each other for a stable connection during the transfer. Before transferring, double-check the WPS files. Make sure they are the correct versions. Also, scan them with antivirus software to ensure they are free of malware. This is crucial for protecting your laptop. No matter which method you choose, always ensure a stable connection during the transfer. A dropped connection could corrupt your files. After the transfer, verify that the files open correctly on your laptop. This confirms that the transfer was successful. Now you should be able to access and work on your WPS files on your laptop. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Consider subscribing for more tips and tricks. And if you feel generous, consider supporting the channel through the support options given below. Every bit helps me to keep making useful content. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.